Hello, my name is Camper Casey, and you're here at Johnson RV, America's number one premium pre-owned RV dealer. We're located here in Fife, Washington. We're looking at a 2016 Salem 23RB rear bath. This particular unit has two slides. First thing I was gonna talk about is a little bit of the front. You do have a power jack up front. You do have the bigger LP bottles here. Uh, they're gonna be, I think the seven and a half gallon, so about 15 gallons of uh, propane. If we continue going around this, I could show you a little bit about it. Uh, first off, right up front, is gonna be our fresh water. This is for potable water only. Uh, right here is gonna be our hot water heater. It's a six gallon hot water heater. Uh, you do have, looks like some pass through up front here that does go all the way through and nice access points to the back of uh, your hot water heater. If you keep on coming a little bit further, you'll notice a few things. You do have a fresh water drain right here. And on this side, uh, you do have uh, your power jacks. This is where the majority of uh, the information is. Right here is gonna be your utility shower. It's gonna have the black tank flush for your black and gray, or I'm sorry, just your black. Gray doesn't have that. Uh, this is gonna be your city water connect. Okay, so this is the two different systems. Up front I talked about your potable water. This is your city water. This is gonna be for your 30 amp cord, comes with it. Okay, this is gonna be your waste gates. This is gonna be your gray and black tanks. Okay, if you go a little bit further, you can see there's our rear stabilizer jacks that are electric. Okay, if we keep on walking around the back side of this thing, you'll notice a, a larger bumper here. Uh, so you could put a rack on there if you needed to. Another thing we got here too is that's going to be a cable in and your satellite in or cable satellite. If you keep coming back this way, this is going to be an exhaust port for your hot water, your heating system. Just heat. Uh, just like what I was talking about on the other side about your sta stabilizer jacks. Here's the button for the rear. Okay. The, four, the front one is up front there. We can look at here here shortly. The second slide room I was gonna talk about is another rack and pinion slide room. So double rack and pinion. This is the other side. We couldn't get all the way around it. We got a little bit too tight. Right here is the pasture I was talking about on the other side. Little larger door over here to access this. You got a lot more space. Uh, back behind here, just a couple other little features that I was going to point out. This is going to be your 110 out. So you could plug in a radio or whatever you wanted to. This is the other button I was talking about for the front jacks. They're the power front uh, stabilizer jacks. That's, that's right there. All right, now we're on the inside of this. Okay, a lot. This is your control panel. Okay, this guy right here is outside of the control panel, but real close to it is your slide room. This operates one of the slides, okay? The other slide room is inside the, the panel here. Right next to it is your awning, okay? And you're gonna have your water pump, hot water heater, uh, and, and some interior lights. You also have right here um, a way to check your tank levels. So you're gonna have uh, batteries, fresh, black, and gray. Once, a, once it actually has some power, doesn't have power at the moment. Um, next is going to be your furnace and AC is all controlled by this unit right here. So you can set it to whatever temperature you want um, and it'll achieve it. Right here is a little bit of a safety. This is going to be your LP detector um, and carbon monoxide. Okay. If you look around here, you can kind of see um you got a lot of space to hang stuff right here so right when you walk in from it being too cold or hot you can actually hang and put all your shoes and stuff in there as you walk in uh, the next little thing here real close it's going to be your bathroom 
okay it's going to be a nice neo angle shower in the corner and you got yourself the toilet got your sink there you got everything you need to in in one location so much different than a split bath you can actually shut the door and have complete privacy as you as you'd like uh, moving on uh, you'll notice that there's actually an island in this the reason why is because you have the two double opposing slides so just in here is going to be your sink it's a 60 40 split sink which is kind of nice just in case um, you had some dirty dishes which a lot of us do when we go camping uh, you're going to have a three burner stove right here plus an oven uh, also you do have a nice microwave uh, for 23 feet not only having an island you actually have some counter space here with a lot of cabinet space plus some nice deep drawers right here that's the advantage of having that second slide uh, in such a small uh, unit here uh, if we keep on going you'll notice that you got yourself a your refrigerators right here it's going to be gas or electric um, you're going to also have your cd dvd uh, player uh, this right here turns around so if you'll just need to get one tv if tv is important to you to either watch it out here in the couch or turn it around and watch it in bed uh, this does have a walk around queen bed in it you can see that you actually have full pocket doors here that you can close off for all the privacy that you really need uh, you also do have an emergency window here that's really easy to uh, prop open to get some good cross ventil ventilation you have it on either side of the bed uh, so you can possibly run that air conditioning a little bit less once again my name is camper Casey telephone number here is 253-286-0833 give me a call if you'd like any other uh, questions answered thank you